UvaldeRadio.net, good morning and welcome back to the show. I'm Robert Miguel and uh, it's been a while because it's been busy, crazy, crazy busy over at Main Street Uvalde. So busy, we haven't had a chance to really catch up, but with me, checking in on the phone, we've got Susan Rios from Main Street Uvalde. Hello, welcome, hello welcome. everyone. So first time on the air, I don't think we even talked even before Honey Festival, did we or did we We didn't. I think I think Honey Festival was such a huge event uh, for for everyone involved that that it was kind of all volunteers, all hands on deck that we just threw caution to the wind and we didn't get to do uh, uh, any kind of radio visit. But hey, you were on it. You were all <laughs> things Honey Fest. So we uh, we had lots of we did live coverage at Honey Festival. I know we did talk to um, to Lacey. Huddleston from the Main Street Advisory Board, um, pre Honey Fest, and uh, at least uh, I think I think Caitlin chimed in. Of course, like I said, we talked to a lot of the artists that were performing. But yeah, I guess well, get, get, go and give me your. I, I was there again. UvaldeRadio.net did a broadcast, um, but we haven't really had any kind of recap uh, before we get into your present uh, promotional um, agenda. Let's go ahead and give give us um, the rundown on Honey Fest, how it went, and uh, what your observation was. So I, I, I'm going to say this, I'm going to preface this, so, you know, Honey Festival was a, was a fun and good event, and uh, I, I always tell anybody who gives me um, a compliment about Honey Fest, I always want to make sure to direct that compliment back to the people who, who really deserve it. Um, I, I was only a very small part of the volunteer group. This was a completely a Main Street Advisory Board project, so everyone that serves on the Main Street Advisory board had had a hand in it and did awesome so those those men and women deserve the kudos um i think it was great i mean we had a huge turnout especially for the for the friday night a steady crowd on saturday it was great seeing all the music and the vendors and the kids and families just out enjoying downtown which in celebrating the whole the spirit and history of uvalde i think it was a really great weekend for everyone involved now if you could pick like one favorite i guess you know facet within the festival what, what would that be for you Oh wow! Um, wow, Robert, you put me you put me on the spot, Uvalde. <laughs> you know, so I I always tell people for me it it is it is them it is having the people involved and I love downtown so much that when I see that kind of crowd yeah. come together and celebrate and really enjoy their community, to me that's the favorite part of it and that may sound cheesy i mean the food was great the honey is great having yolo come and and film was wonderful having the be experts out there with all of it's great but just seeing people come from all over uvalde county and even other counties in texas to come enjoy our community that's always the best part I think you're absolutely right, and that kind of um, that's similar to what, what my one of my favorite parts of it was, and it was towards it was actually on the evenings of both nights, Friday and Saturday, when we're when they, when it's kind of like the the vendors are kind of winding down, but there is just live music out there in front of the opera house, and people are just out there with their lawn chairs, drinking a cold beer, hanging out, a few people dancing, just hanging out in the plaza watching a band play and just enjoying you know even though it was a hot summer night you know a cold beer live music and just kind of whether you're on the grass or sitting on the curb just seeing kind of your friends and family in the city hanging out you know right there downtown just chilling you know cool i mean i i remember just watching a band going oh this is it this was what it's all about right and it's and it makes one feel very reminiscent of how we probably feel downtown used to really be whether it was in the late 1800s early 1900s where it was truly the core of your community and if there was anything that was going to happen it was going to happen in the center of town in that area so it just sort of is like we're coming full circle and it's just a really good feeling now, I know you've got a whole lot of other cool things coming up, so let's get right into it. I know that this Friday, tomorrow, is Four Square Friday. It's the, is it Flip Flops and Fireflies? Fireflies, Fireflies yes, first, okay. Yes, in essence, it's summertime Four Square, and right. 
you know, we just kind of felt like what invokes that thought of true summertime and nothing like lightning bugs and sandals, right? So that fireflies and flip flops. <laughs> so, so rain or shine. I know it's been kind of a little touchy on, on the on the rain, which we love the rain, um, but it is always uh, rain or shine for Square Friday. I, I know the big thing in the plaza for the kids is the the slip and slide, the water slide you've got lined up. So, uh, I guess we'll put this out there. Um, if it's raining, what are the situations? In what case might the slip and slide not happen? If if we know that there's going to be uh, any serious weather, like lightning, we will not have the slip and slide because okay. kids' safety comes first, and Absolutely. we all know that water and electricity don't mix. <laughs> no, so with don't. that being said, if for some reason um, a storm pops up and it's not safe for the kids on the slip and slide, we will bring it back uh, in August. So we won't not have it it will just be delayed until we can have a safe four square but we are moving forward today with the thought that um we will have have good weather for friday evening i i've checked the forecast the the odds aren't in my favor but i'm i have i'm a you know i'm not a pessimist i'm an optimist so i will hope that we have good weather uh to accommodate our fantastic double slip and slide and vendors and shopping all about the shopping um and have a good night friday night i know we've got a lot of vendors signed up in any um Give me a few examples of what one might be able oh, to find wow. out there. Yeah, so we do have a lot of vendors signed up. In fact, we're right about thirty vendors. Um, it's been it's been very very uh, popular. So I want to I want to thank everybody who who has discovered that Foursquare is the thing to be at. So I love that. So we will have um, folks like uh, the Boy Scouts will be there doing their funnel cakes. That's ever popular. Uh, we're going to have our our snow cone stand back again. Uh, we've got uh, everything from people who are making artwork and paintings, jewelry, clothing, uh, vinyl records. Uh, I'm going. I'm going through the list. Um, people who sell uh, things for for manicures and um, kids items and purses and snack goods of all kinds. It's going to be. It's going to be a very packed plaza. And I will tell you the most interesting thing we're going to have. So um, we will also say this. One of our vendors isn't really a vendor, but um, we will have the National Guard set up on the plaza offering um, free COVID vaccines. Mm, wow. So you can shop and get your COVID vaccine if that's something that you haven't done yet or would like to do that will be available to you Friday on the plaza as well. And of course, that's none of that's to take away from all the fabulous shopping that will be be available in our downtown stores and boutiques and restaurants. So um, yeah. I guess Every, everything we always say is is a bonus. Yeah. It is an accent to promote the downtown shopping and the downtown eating. Uh, so we want to remind everybody that you know so many of our stores are going to be staying open late, and the restaurants downtown are open. So we hope that you'll come out and shop because a lot of them just got back from market and they have new items for the summer um, and are having big summer sales so that will be a lot of fun but we know that having that extra um, makes it a good time out on the town so we always try to put the extra on the plaza so that while you're out shopping and eating you can come enjoy a little bit of of what the vendors on the plaza have to offer and then make sure that you are spending your dollars local in the stores now i know susan you always keep track with who's coming and going uh in downtown so um and do we have any new shops any new places that we might want to go shopping at friday night you know, I do want to point out, we have one of a, a newer store, and that is Amore Eterno, and they are located on High Street. So I realize that that's kind of out of people's normal walking threshold for a four square. Mm-hmm. So they are bringing uh, their boutique to the plaza. Uh, so we do want to remind that we do have some new store owners, and they being one or a newer store owner, but they will be on the plaza. So we hope that people will come and check out uh, what they have to offer as well, and then go visit their store during their regular business. Hours. So kind of like a little pop-up sale for them. Yeah, a little yeah. pop-up sale. Yeah, very nice. Um, but we definitely, so we're excited. We're excited. You know, the Main Street District is a pretty expansive district, and we know that sometimes when you're on foot, you don't want to walk 10 blocks, so we're excited to always have stores that are located on the outskirts of the district come and set up in the middle of everything. Now, again, we're talking to Susan Rios. She is the director at the Main Street Uvalde Program, um, the group that's... Uh, 
responsible for Foursquare Friday every second Friday of the month in downtown Uvalde with extended shopping hours and, uh, and vendors in the plaza. Now, if you're listening, Tuesday we debuted our new segment, which is called uh, Better Business Banter with Regina Avilas over at the uh, Uvalde Area uh, Chamber of Commerce, which, from what I understand, she made a, a quick mention that they're going to be kind of doing a little thing on the chamber end of downtown tomorrow night. Do you have any information on that? Oh, so we are working with the chamber, um, and we're always, we're, you know, people need to remember, too, that the, that the chamber is in the Main Street District, mm-hmm. so um, we, it's always exciting uh, when all our partners, business partners and nonprofit partners, jump in on the fun. Uh, so we have so many vendors that are signed up to be on the plaza that we can't always accommodate everybody, so uh, the Chamber of Commerce is also going to have vendor space available um, there on North Getty Street which is exciting. So we will be um, working with them in the coming months to make sure that no matter where you go downtown, there is going to be great opportunities for new businesses and for pop-up markets to, and to help us facilitate the promotion of our existing businesses. And what a great way to kind of make like a loop of it, make a lap, you know, where you can start off with the, the, pl- the, the vendors in the plaza, you know, make your way up North Getty, hang out, see the vendors, you know, at the chamber, and then, you know, head back south on the other side of the street, perhaps, you know, and hit, hit all the stores in between, you know. Yes. That's what I would do. That's what I'm saying. It's it's got to, it's you know it's uh it's important to remember especially people who have been a fan or an attendee of Foursquare in the the eight or so years that it's been happening and they've seen it sort of um, morph into this much bigger event where you kind of got in the habit of being only at a couple of stores but now realizing you know that there's like 13 14 stores and now there's these restaurants and there's vendors and that it's not just in this one block of of North Getty now you've got South Getty involved as well as North Getty and going up four blocks. So it's just really exciting to see how that's grown and changed. Very good. Again, the uh, the Four Square Friday flip-flops and fireflies Four Square Friday is tomorrow night in the plaza. Uh, details at the Main Street Uvalde uh, Facebook page and more. So, uh, Susan, I know we're, we're kind of running late here, but I know you've got other things lined up. What what else you want to skim over or, or give me details on? So, uh, just a couple of quick things that I, I want to remind everybody. Um, so, we have started promoting um, our safety and security workshop, and that is going to be the evening of Tuesday, July 20th at 6 o'clock at the Civic Center. So that is a free workshop uh, to the public. Um, We're hoping that our downtown business owners will come and business owners all over Uvalde will attend, but we want to help give everyone the tools that they need to stay safe and secure and keep their businesses safe and secure, uh, whether that's your staff or preventing theft. So we've got some subject matter experts coming in to teach that from the police department some uh, drug and alcohol abuse counselors and some uh, security equipment specialists. And at that evening, we are going to be rolling out a brand new incentive program that Main Street is introducing. So we hope people will come out. Again, that's going to be Tuesday, July 20th at the Civic Center at 6 o'clock. So that is um, pretty exciting. I love being able to roll out new incentives. Um, So we hope people will come uh, to keep themselves safe and learn about the new incentive. And of course, um, monthly four square Fridays, but we're also gearing up in October, October 9th. We are bringing back, um, our, we had to postpone our mariachi right. madness and we're bringing it back. So we hope people will stay tuned to our Facebook and Instagram and website for details, but save their date for October 9th for a lot of mariachi fun in the amphitheater and the civic center. So now let's go and clarify this. We do still have Metalachi performing, right? Metalachi yeah. is performing and that's a ticketed concert. Tickets are only $15 and people can get those on Eventbrite or you can just go to our website, which is MainStreetUvalde.com and there's a quick link to buy your ticket for the Metalachi concert and uh, with special guest Surge. So we're excited to have one of Uvalde's own uh, bands opening up, but the world famous Metalachi, we are very excited to have them come to Uvalde. And, and if you don't remember us talking about them in the past, Metalachi performs popular like hard rock and rock songs in in uh, mariachi 
uh, style, and and they're they're just fantastic. They're, the way they're dressed, uh, everything is just so cool about them. So it's going to be a great event. And of course, the the actual event is more of like a mariachi battle of the band, so to speak, right? Yeah. So we'll so we will definitely have more details. But yeah, yeah. We'll, it'll be a day of mariachi music. But we are also going to be adding an art festival component. So it is going to be all wow. things art and culture um, to celebrate Hispanic Heritage Month. So save October 9th on your calendar, folks, because that will be a Saturday full of all kinds of great music and fantastic art with kids activities as well all right susan anything else from main street uvalde well we just hope that people continue to uh, take advantage of all our services as far as design information tax credits facade grants and then we have that new incentive coming out um, that they stay tuned and come to all the events downtown that they shop local and they get ready for the holiday season because we're going to be having some fun things coming up for the christmas holidays Right on. Oh, that's going to be even more awesome. Can't wait. Yes. And in fact, if <laughs> you can start buying your commemorative Christmas ornaments. Those are for sale already. So uh, we are ready to kick off the holidays. Nice. All right. We'll stop by the Main Street Uvalde office to get those uh, early Christmas presents. Again, Susan Rios, Main Street Uvalde. Thank you so much for your time. MainStreetUvalde.com is the website. Find them on Facebook. And I guess let's do our, our monthly theme song since it's Fireflies and Flip Flops Four Square Friday. Gosh, that's hard to say. Uh, we're going to do... Uh, Fireflies by Owl City. So this will get you in a in a summery, spacey mood for the big uh, Four Square Friday night. Rain or shine, right? Rain or shine, yes. Well, thank you, Susan. We appreciate you. Thank you. It's UvaldiRadio.net.